an introduction to the rectangular or uniform probability distribution. In statistics, we have two types of uh, random variables, discrete and continuous. Uh, discrete variables are things you typically count, and continuous variables represent things that you typically measure. With some examples here. And here are some examples of discrete and continuous probability distributions. And this is the one that we're looking at now. For discrete distributions, the random variable x takes fixed values, discrete values, and we can see that the distribution looks like a bar chart where the height of any particular bar represents the probability of that value of x. But for continuous probability distributions, it's the area under the graph that represents the probability. And this, f of x, is a probability density function. It's like the equation of this curve here. Here's a rectangular probability distribution. And we can see that it takes values of x between 0 and 10. And all values of x between 0 and 10 are equally likely. The total area underneath our graph here is equal to 1. The width of the graph here is 10, between the 0 and the 10, a width of 10. And the height is 1 tenth, because the width times the height should give an area here that's equal to 1. And f of x, our probability density function, is equal to 1 tenth when x is between 0 and 10. Outside that range, the probability density function is 0. So it's 1 tenth along here. And as soon as you go outside the range, 0 to 10, the probability density function f of x is now 0. So it's 0 on this side, and it's 0 on this side. Example 1, a rectangular probability distribution on the interval 0, 10. Now, f of x can never be negative. So on the y-axis, we can have values all the way down to 0 here, but not negative values. The random variable x can be positive or negative. In this case, the random variable x takes values between 0 and 10, like this. So for this area in here to be equal to 1, the height here is given by this formula, where the a and the b represent these values. So a is 0 and b is 10. So a and b. So the height is 1 tenth. So from the AQA formula book, and this is page 11, we have our rectangular distribution on AB. 1 over B minus A is the probability function, that's f of x. And then we have a, a formula here for the mean and a formula for the variance, and we can square root the variance to get the standard deviation. So the probability function is 1 over B minus A, in this interval, and outside that interval, the probability function is 0. So we have this. So working out a probability, uh, x more than 2, less than 5, is exactly the same as x more than or equal to 2, or less than or equal to 5, for a continuous distribution, like this one, that equals is not doing anything. Uh, just like it was in the normal distribution, if you put an equal sign in there, 
it did nothing because it's a continuous distribution. So x more than or equal to 2, less than or equal to 5, it's this region here. And it's the area of this region that represents this probability. So probability is width times height for this region. The width is 3, the height is 1 tenth, so the probability is 0 0.3. In this example, we're looking for the probability that x is greater than 2. So this is the shaded region. It has a width of 8, a height of 1 tenth. Multiply them, and you get the probability. In this one, px less than or equal to 6. A width of 6, a height of a tenth. Probability, 0 0.6. The probability that x is greater than 12 Greater than 12 is this way, from here to the right. And there is no definition of the probability function here. f of x is 0 out here, so the probability is 0. You only calculate any probabilities in this region. Outside, so that way or this way, f of x is 0. So any probability outside that region will be 0. px equals 7. So 7 is inside the interval 0 to 10, but we're not shading anything. And for continuous probability um, uh, distributions, it's the area shaded that represents probability. And we're not shading anything here, so the probability is 0. Going back to the formula book, we have a formula here for the mean, another one for the variance. So for the mean, a plus b divided by 2, this value is a, this value is b. Add them, divide by 2, the mean is 5. For the variance, b minus a squared, so 10 minus 0 squared, divided by 12, this is always 12. So here's the variance. If we square root this, we'll get the standard deviation. Example 2, so what's the missing value here? We know that the width of our rectangle is 6 minus 5, which is 6 minus 1, which is 5. So 1 fifth will be the height, because the width times the height should be equal to 1. So 1 fifth is the height. So we know that this value is 1 fifth, and this value here is 1 fifth, or 0 0.2. And then we can calculate the mean variance and standard deviation as before. Example 3, rectangular probability distribution on minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. So we have this. The width along here is equal to 1, so the height is 1 divided by the width, which is also 1. So here's our definition for the probability function. f of x is equal to 1 when x is between minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 along here. And then as soon as you go outside the range, so when x is more than 0 0.5, f of x is 0. It's zero otherwise. This is the full definition of the rectangular probability distribution. So working out a simple probability. Width, 0 0.6, times height. And working out the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Again, making use of these formulae. Example 4, b is unknown, but the height is given. And we know that 1 divided by the width will give us the height.
and then rearranging this equation so between here and here I've swapped these two around 1 divided by 0 0.25 is 4 then add 5 to each side so B is 9 so this value here is 9 and then we can work out the mean and the mean is right in the center between the 5 and the 9 which is also equal to the median yeah, the median is the value that splits your probability into two halves so the probability on this side is a half the probability on this side is a half so 7 is also the median and then we can work out the lower quartile and the upper quartile so the probability in each of these regions is a quarter all adding up to one example five px less than two the width is between zero and two which is two times the height here gives the probability so again between three and four point five the width is one point five times the height 0 0.2 is equal 0 0.3 and px more than 1 the width between 1 and 5 is 4 times 0 